people, my name is Zach Dowding and today we are back at Borrow Times Farm, a DIY skateboard farm here in Fallbrook, California. It's been a couple months, it's been since February since we checked in on the farm, so I figured in this video I'll give you guys a little tour of like the layout of the farm, how it's all set up, what's been going on, the progress of what's going on. There's a tiny home being built behind me, there's a ramp behind me. This is kind of like the top area of the farm, sort of the level area of the farm because as you go down a lot of the property is actually on a hill which is where a lot of like the vegetation lives, a lot of like the residential areas on the house or on the property, sorry, is gonna be. So this is kind of like you drive in right here behind me, you can park up here. And this is where like a lot of like the foundation of the farm is gonna be. So you have a storage container behind me, some dope art on it. There's a lot of like just kind of cool stuff being stored in here. A lot of Alex's stuff, the owner of the farm. And then we have a tiny home, which we're gonna get into. We're gonna talk to Shadow, he's kind of like one of the guys that's working out here on the farm quite a lot about how they're building a tiny home. Then we have the ramp behind us, which Sean is warming up on and my friend Jesse right now, we'll go check on them in a session. As you walk down from the property, like I was saying, it's where all the vegetation is. It's where the yurt is, there's a little like zen area. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a tour of the property essentially. So like I said, you have this top area. This is kind of where everybody parks. It's the most flat area of the farm because a lot of the farm is on a hillside, as you can see, walking over here, you know, all back there, there's a lot of vegetation, a lot of hillside. We have our storage containers over here. And this is actually the first thing that was here is this trailer right behind me. We got wood, lumber, got the chill area over here. Got your barbecue zone over here. This is kind of like where the majority of people are kind of like relaxing and enjoying the farm essentially stay. We got the bouncy, area with the net around it because Alex does have two young kids and it's a good way to like kind of allow them to enjoy themselves while he's working on stuff. So over here got some shade because it does get really hot out here in Fallbrook, California. It's really hot. Got the ramp behind me which the boys are warming up on right now. We're definitely going to do a skate session on the ramp today. Don't worry this isn't just going to be me talking about it. I feel like it'd be good to give you a little bit of a glimpse kind of walk through of the farm. Right here there's kind of like a deck area that eventually will be for, I believe like tents, TP, and then we go down past that gate, and then we go into the avocado grove, which we'll go into next. Check out this little treehouse area where you can also come like just hang out up here, have your lunch, relax, whatever you want to do. So a lot of, you know, the facilities here at the farm are just for like creative people or for people that want to have like a retreat in a way. Things are looking really clean down here. This is where the yurt is also at. Got another kind of like shaded area over here. So yeah, we'll go down to the grove in a second, but first let's warm up on the ramp. My favorite part of the farm. Just recently they finished the butter bench. They put a butter bench ledge on the ramp. So this ramp has like multiple obstacles in one ramp. It's definitely just not a mini ramp. There's like a new curb that's been put on, the Edgemont curb. This curb has been through like, I think like five or six mini ramps. There's a lot of history. Um, we do need to fix up the pool coping today. So that is something that I'm probably gonna do in a separate video because that'll just make this video way too long. So yeah, let's uh, get warmed up on the ramp. a hip on the ramp but I think Alex and the people on the farm kind of decided that it was better just to bank it out make it like one big bank ball so I'm excited to skate this today and just to kind of like call a cap on the ramp because they didn't want the ramp to like 
overflow too much into the farm there will eventually be other skatable objects little areas on the farm so it'll be like little subdivisions throughout the farm that you can kind of walk through and skate deck still we got someone in the yurt right now right so we're, we're gonna show that another day but shadow over here has been killing it going? on the deck and all the work out here maintaining it and we gotta check out the tiny house too we do outside of the yurt is the avocado grove so basically it's just like switchbacks back and forth with avocado trees everywhere anything else i think it's just avocado trees for now there is some lemon trees up here as well avocado trees are starting to produce some avocado which is super rad the whole trees are starting to come back. Last time I was up here in February, it was pretty bald, so vegetation is coming back to life here at the farm. This is the tiny home that will be replacing the RV, kind of like the first big infrastructure being built from scratch. Shadow over here has been working on, what do you call it, mini house, or what do you call this that you're doing right now? Tiny home, tiny home, super rad. So what's the first step to doing something like this? Like the trailer, how, how do you go about making a tiny home? Oh, man, all right, well, we got an Iron Eagle 26 foot trailer right here um, that's specifically made for tiny homes. So uh, we have holes here that have been drilled out. Um, basically, you start by the framework and you work your way in, work your way up. Uh, I've had a couple hands of help on this because it is a hard project to take on by yourself. Yeah, um, no kidding. What's the next? What's the next phase? Uh, the next phase is I would do an insulation, which I already got the floor insulated right here with a moisture barrier board. Oh, nice. Um, that should keep all the moisture um, from above, uh, above and below, below. Um, I'm still need to frame the uh, inside of the trailer to make the platform for uh, the floor. Nice. Yeah. Is there a goal on like when to finish something like this or do you kind of just like roll with the punches? Um, I think the goal in mind is to get this thing enclosed in the next month and have it fully functional in three months. Sick. Oh, so. Hell yeah. So will someone be able to move in here or is this your homestead? Uh, it'll be my home, and, but it'll always be for sale. So yeah, that's a common question that I get down in the comment section. Whenever we do Borrow Times videos is, is it open to the public? And anybody can come out here and help. It's simply hitting up the Borrow Times Instagram. Is that the best way, Shadow? Yeah, Borrow Times. Borrow Times on Instagram and just hit them up. Say, hey, I'd love to come check out the farm, whether you want to volunteer or just come out here and film like I'm doing. Either way, super cool people out here that are willing to work with anybody that just hits them up. And uh, Tiny Home, it's amazing. It's pretty rad to see how big this is like. I it's mean, a lot it's a lot bigger yeah, in person. Like, oh, then you wanted? Then I wanted, yeah. It's kind of bigger than like studios I've lived in and I've paid a lot of money for it. But you're out here in this like beautiful nature area. So he's definitely winning. Yeah, so yeah, so I'll explain a little about the inside. Uh, I have a drawing I should actually, maybe I'll, maybe I'll grab that. Let's, uh, yeah. Montana? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Sean found the spray paint. He's already trying yeah, to like hit at some walls. He already, he's already on a mission. He's on his own mission over here. So this is a little sketch I put together about 10 minutes just to give you a rough idea of what we got going on here in the mini house. Uh, I'm not the best artist, so bear with me. Much so, better, much straighter lines than I can ever do. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, basically what you're looking at right here is gonna be in the back section. Uh, that window you see uh, above will be the window you see right here in the picture. Uh, the bed platform is gonna be six foot wide by 10 foot long. Uh, you'll be able to put pretty much a queen comfortably, maybe even a king. Um, I'm going to be measuring that out precisely for the mattress I put on there, which I haven't done yet. So uh, There will be like an openness to this whole section, uh, a walkway all the way down. Um, and in this platform will be my bathroom, which I have sketches for, but a little rough. That's sick. And then does it just go to like a septum tank? Um, yeah, we have septic on the property. So cool. I'm basically going to mimic what we have uh, going on on a uh, Coleman uh, 2018 Got travel it. trailer, yep. Yep. Um, which is basically pretty straightforward. We're going to go for uh, a composting toilet, maybe, to nice. reduce our uh, footprint. Yeah, makes um, sense. Keeping things uh, economical out here. Yeah, we're trying. Yeah. Organic cer certification might be coming soon, too. Everything with this project is very DIY, so like, you know, if someone's watching this video and is like, it's not to code, you're right, it's not. We're making it happen, though. <laughs> 
All right, y'all, thanks for watching. That is this time at Borrow Times Farm. It's been a blast catching up. Give you guys a little tour of the farm, checking out the ramp, getting a little session. Sean, Jesse, and Shadow. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button to see more videos from Borrow Times Farms. We'll be back for sure. Stay on MASH.